scenic plane flights have become a really popular way to explore our northwest. And today we are going on the experience of a lifetime. Plane ride at the start, chopper ride at the end, and a whole lot of Kimberley in between. It's going to be a really big day, and yes, you will have to get up early. If you want to cover a lot of ground up here in the Kimberley, this is the way to do it. Javier's Mitchell Falls Discoverer Tour is really three tours rolled into one. This flight from Kununurra to the Mitchell Plateau is the first leg of the journey. It's an area twice the size of Europe, and we're covering it in two hours. From the Ord, you head north towards Wyndham and the snaking rivers of the Gulf Country, before dipping down over the towering cliffs of the Berkeley Gorge and along the coast. A little further on, King George Falls, magnificent even in the dry season and a good warm-up for what's to come. At the Bush Airstrip, the plane is swapped for the first of two chopper rides for the day. This one scoots over the treetops, giving us a good look at the landscape we're about to hike into when we touch down. The fantastic thing about this tour is just how accessible it makes this area to tourists who'd otherwise be faced with a pretty challenging four-wheel drive to make it here. The next part, though, will have you earning your keep. It takes two hours to make the 4K walk up to the top of the Mitchell Falls. From the dusty ground, lush vegetation suddenly appears. It's a constantly changing landscape. You're right in the middle of a part of WA that very few people get to see. First stop is Little Merton Falls. Like King George Falls, they're just part of the warm-up act. Keep an eye out for the locals on the way, as well as the stunning scenery. Waterfall number three for the day, Big Merton Falls. And yes, they are getting bigger and bigger. And no, you wouldn't want to slip. That said, it's a fairly easy crossing with big rewards. The entrance to our final stop is not that spectacular, although it's perhaps the most challenging part of the walk. And after the walk, frankly, the falls can wait a little while longer. Now this is a swimming pool, crystal clear, and most importantly, in this neck of the woods, it's croc free. But if only you could plunge into this water feature, the Mitchell Falls in all their glory are quite simply gobsmackingly beautiful. 80 metres tall, three plunge pools, spectacular. And the good news is getting back down from here is a lot easier than it was getting up. In fact, if you do the drive in and walk yourself up, you too can take the easy way out. Right from the top of the falls, choppers take tourists for a bird's eye view of the most photographed falls in Australia. You can see why people save their pennies for this tour. It's something you will remember forever. And being able to do it from the air and the ground and not lose a few days getting here, Kimberley Gold. <laughs>